in a lovely little neighbourhood of Papua Nui. Here is 4 Primrose Street. Welcome to 4 Primrose Street. Let me show you around as we head through the gate. Up the paths that have been um, fixed by EQC. If you wander around here, you'll see the lovely lemon tree. And along this path here, which also has been fixed, is a pomegranate tree. Rose at the front door, and here is the front door. The other way in would be through the non-electric gates, up the gravel drive. Once again, take you past the pomegranate tree to the front door. When we enter Fort Primrose Street, there is a small, I'd say small, landing. Which you can then go through into the lounge. As you may see, we have discrete what they call staging. This is what it could look like if you had an old desk in the lounge. There's your fireplace. We have the TV hanging above that. We have couches over here. In the lounge area we have a heat pump which takes us through into what would be a dining area. Once again, what it could look like if you had an old dining room table sitting up against the wall. Nice view out on the street. And a typical 1950s unchanged kitchen. Has a relatively new Westinghouse oven. And a hot water cylinder that is also not too old at all. Uh, 2011 it was put in. In some houses this would be known as a butler's kitchen. They're designing these again in modern houses. We go out the kitchen, it's a view to the back door and the laundry. This is a coat cupboard, electrical meter box thingy. And this would be your first of the four bedrooms. Heater on the wall and storage. It does have an alarm but it's not working or well, not activated, not sure. Down the hallway to your right once you get a fully staged toilet just as you are living in it. Toilet rolls, cleaner. Second bedroom Once again with a storage cupboard and we head out to the bathroom. Not huge, has a bath above a shower. Storage in the hallway. This would be called the master bedroom. So this is the back bedroom with the wall heater and 1950s style cupboard wardrobe thing. And this is your fourth bedroom. This fits a queen size bed in it. It's also got the storage cupboard and that is 117 square meters of house already it has uh, fiber installed ready for fiber to go as we head out the back door we can start to show you the rear of the house 
Back door's got a good landing here. The southerly winds and everything are coming from that direction, so it's a nice covered little area and it has a very handy fly screen. So you can keep the fly screen door shut and locked while keeping the back door open to let fresh air through the house. As we head out, we'll start showing you the multiple outdoor shed storage facilities. We'll call this Shed 1. Shed 1. This is, mm, can loosely be described as a greenhouse. Needs a bit of work, but uh, if the referendum passes, perfect size for you, growing whatever you like. A little bit of plastic on the roof would go, wouldn't go amiss, and a new door. But uh, nice little space for growing stuff. This would be shed number two. This is where the lawn mower bits and pieces all got stopped, or stored. Um, Petrols, lawnmowers, bits and pieces like that. And as you head back, this is a carport. The carport area. Coming up the drive, the house has been well maintained by my father in law. He's painted it, you see the little metal corners he's put on it. So if anything uh, went wrong with it, he'd be fixing it. As we come up the driveway, the double garages with electric openers, which we'll show you later. And as we saw before, there's your carport and shed sleep out workshop number three. Still got desks, um, they can be taken out. Um, once again, sorry about the cunning trick and all the staging. That's what it could look like with a whole lot of bits and pieces in it. There's uh, lockers, they don't go with the house. As we come around the back, you've got your clothesline, concrete pad for doing other stuff on, a bit more garden, um, a couple of nashi trees, they produce some good fruit. Raised veggie gardens and the big greenhouse out the back. Well, once again, greenhouse, it's a bit average, needs a bit of work, but hopefully the staging of all those tools will take your eye away from the big hole in the back corner there. We've also got some sort of plant there, don't know what that is, um, but it grows some sort of fruit. If we turn away from the greenhouse, there's another shed, which I think we're calling shed four just enough room for a barbecue and a table and we'll move over to shed five which is out the back beside the garage shed five as we look into the garage What we've tried to do is give you an idea of what the garage would look like with a pile of crap on it. Still to be cleaned out, will be all gone by the time the purchaser moves in. If you wanted close to 30 VCR players, that could be uh, negotiated in the price. So that's about it. That's 4 Primrose Street, Northcote, or Papua Nui. Um, 658 square metres, 117 square metre house, not counting the garages there and all the shed space. All in all, it's a good 1950s home, with good bones. The fireplace, the heat pump, um, insulation in the ceiling, a pink bat underfloor is the is the expo underfloor insulation walls haven't got insulation damage from the earthquakes was all superficial paths and just some minor cracking on the inside on the plaster walls and that's it for primrose street 
great house, great bones, moving straight away, or plod along and restore it to what level you want to. Thank you.